This is an Apple Pencil, this is an iPad, and this is what I can do. And you can do this in your Zoom calls if you go live in Twitch or whatever. This is some actually recorded live. How I do this, I show you exactly in this video. Let's do this. So actually let's stay in this view because it's so fun to do. I will list now what we need in order to do this. You need an iPad and an Apple Pencil or any other pencil. You need a note-taking app, a handwriting note-taking app. I use in this case Notability. We can even add here a picture, a logo of it, just pasting it on my note-taking app right now and you see it nicely shows up on the screen. We need OBS, which is a tool that you can get for free that allows you to stream to your different locations and so on and show you how to set this up. As I said, it's for free, no additional costs involved. The only thing that you might need to buy is the USB-C to HDMI converter and a HDMI cable video card. So I'm using Camlink in order to do this from Elgato. But there are so many cheaper alternatives as well that actually brings your HDMI into your computer. And then, you know, if you want to record yourself, a webcam. But this is usually included in your MacBook already, whatever. Speaking of MacBook, I use a Mac book to run this, but you could also use a Windows machine to do this. And this is all we need. And now I could go live, I can go into a Zoom call or a Google Meet, whatever you like, and I could have exactly this screen going on. And I will use the setup in my group coaching calls now. So if I need to explain something, this is the way I will do it. So let's dive into how I actually do this. All right, and this is how it looks on the iPad now. So you see this ugly green background. The thing is, once you connect it via your HDMI connection to your computer, Notability will automatically switch into presentation mode. Maybe you use this already for presenting your notes. It will only show the note in a perfect screen resolution that you need to record it in the OBS studio that I show you in a moment what this is. But now you see it's just a green background and it's important because the green thing we will remove later on inside OBS and how this works I show you now. But you see this is exactly what I created just a few minutes ago. I can draw on here and it will instantly show it on the screen later on. All right, and now we are in OBS. You see now me in the screen. This is the live setup and how this looks in OBS when we use it. So you see I can draw and how I set this up I show you now. So let's create a new scene and there are many OBS tutorials on YouTube. If you have no idea how OBS works, just search for OBS tutorial on YouTube and you will find a beginner video. But this is pretty straightforward what I show you now. So create a new scene. You just press the plus button down there and this creates a new scene and we use plus here and we pick actually a video capture device. And in here, we then create a new one. We call it iPad, for example. And then we pick the device. So in this case, I'm using Camlink from Elgato. I mentioned it already. This is how I connect the iPad via HDMI to my computer. I click this. So this is my cam. So it's the wrong one, there's a second one, and this is the screen. And you see how ugly this looks? Now I can pick the right resolution, so I'm using this one, and that's it. Click OK, now we have this on our screen. So this is what we see on our iPad as well. That's the presentation mode as I, that I mentioned. For example, if I go back to my home screen, you see this as well. We want to get rid of the green background. So in order to do this, you just go to iPad, you select this and go to filters on top. In here, you picked an effect filter. So go here and say chroma key, you name it whatever you like. And you see it's already removing the background. So this is already working if we select green here. If this is not working, you could do this with other colors as well. Let's say you want to present something in green, then it would remove the green color as well. So you can use blue, magenta, or a custom color as well. So I could now select a different green. But if you select red, for example, you see the green comes back and it starts removing other colors. And this is not what we want. So let's stay with green. It works very well. If you still have issues, you have some things that you can adjust here to change the threshold, what is really green, what is not. But it looks already pretty good out of the box. And by playing around with this, it makes it much sharper. 
close this and there we go. We have already the screen that we want and I can now draw on my iPad and have it already. If you just want to have a black screen with this writing on, this is already working. We add some more magic there, right? So we just add another video capture device and call this front cam. So this could be your webcam or any other cam that you plugged into your computer. In my case, I'm using another cam link that plugs into my DSLR camera. So I have the high resolution and the you know depth of field and things like that. And there we go. I'm in the front now, all the things is gone. And now look at this. I just dropped this down. Bam, it's in front of me. You see, we have this black border there. This is because the green is not covering the whole screen. So we need to bring this a bit up so you can drag the corners just a bit bigger and that's it. And now we have everything in front. Do you see everything is in front of me? So it feels like I could touch it, right? So I could actually fake it that I'm drawing something like this. I now just pick myself, make myself a bit smaller and there we go already. This is already a great setup that we could use here. And you see already, I can, you know, scroll down to other pa uh, parts of my notes. So, or I can just switch quickly to new pages and start drawing. So this makes it very flexible, especially in live situations. And let's stick with this for now. So you might have seen that I have a cropped page, a cropped image and rounded corners. How I did this, let me just remove myself again and add video capture and there's something I used before. So this is how I did this before. You can actually create folders in there and there's the video capture device again. So you see here, this is showing the whole thing. But if you go to the folder and you go to filters, you see that I added a crop effect. So, and there I cropped the image from left and right, changed this to 200, for example, you see it's further cropping or cropping me completely away. And I added a mask blend. So that's a bit more advanced. So I actually used an image. So here you go, this is the frame. So when you add this image, it will just replace, it, it works like removing the background and here's a border that you can add. So I will add these files in a description below if you want it, you can download it. And then you just apply the, the image here and then you go to alpha mask and then you say you use white or black, both would work. And that's it, then you have the rounded corners and that's it, now I have myself in here. So let's get back to the animated background. If we make another plus here, and just bring in media source. So what you can do in OBS, you can actually add video files and they will play in a loop in the background. This is awesome. So I will add the existing, so I already picked one animated background and there we go, there's the animated background. This is actually 4K, so I need to rescale this and bring it in, done. And you see it's layering as well, so it's on top. So I may have to move this down here and there we go. That's what you saw in the very beginning. We just rebuilt it. If you want to learn more methods, how to present in these styles and use it in your Zoom meetings, Google meetings, coaching sessions, teaching lessons, and so on, then make sure to go to the description below. There you will find a link to my upcoming course, how to present with style. In this course, I will go into much more detail how to set this up step by step. In addition, how to use additional devices to switch easily scenes, you know, overhead camera, all the things that I use in my own YouTube videos and in my live videos. So if you're interested in this course, make sure to check out the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel so I can catch you up next time.